I'm a bitch. I'm a lover of Robin Williams, Disney's flubber. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and my ongoing quest to review every single movie Robin Williams has ever uh, made. This week, I'm looking at fucking flubber. <laughs> I don't know like how to even introduce. Flubber is a 1997 remake of the Disney film The Absent-Minded Professor. It's directed by Les Mayfield, who directed the Miracle on 34th Street remake and has not made a single film since 2007. So somebody check on him. Is he okay? Flubber stars Robin Williams as Professor Philip Brainerd, a mad scientist who creates a new form of energy known as Flubber. It's flying rubber. Give him the Grammy. The Grammy? Yeah, yeah, no, we'll be... <laughs> Peace Prize. This film was also written and produced by John Hughes and also stars Marsha Gay Harden, Christopher McDonald, Will Wheaton, Jodie Benson, who is the voice of Ariel and is also the voice of the robot. Oh, that makes sense. And has music composed by Danny Elfman. This movie is a mess. This is one of the only movies I remember seeing as a child. I was very young when I saw this, like six or seven, and I remember not liking it and being kind of bored. And I think that's because it's all of the marketing for this movie is Flubber shaking its ass. <laughs> and like nothing about all the scientific jargon. This movie is not about Flubber. It's about no. this guy who can't remember his wedding date and his robot who's in love with him and the guys who are like just discount home alone burglars. So when I first watched the movie, it was actually like my first, but we picnicked and watched it. Ooh. And so I think I held a nostalgia feel to it throughout yeah. all my years. And definitely I bet if it came out now, Flubber would be like the new minion almost. Stop! No! They would advertise him like that. Would it would Flubber be the new minion or would Weebo and all of her reaction gifts just be the new Oh, that's a whole other thing, too. Weebo was ahead of the game, like, I know. reaction gif and everything. Weebo's whole job, other than canceling the wedding and being in love with Robin Williams' professor, is to play reaction media from other films. Oh, and play Sims. Oh, yeah, she turns herself into a sexy lady. Yeah, to go try and some pixel-perfect hologram shit. So I guess I should say... To try and kiss him while he's asleep, no cassette. While he's asleep, true. Flubber is about this guy who it's the day of his wedding for the third time because he can't remember. He's absent-minded! He just keeps forgetting. And the robot is supposed to keep track of his schedule, but she keeps deleting the wedding. And his college is in danger of closing, and he's also in danger of losing his lady. So instead of going to his wedding, he decides to mess with some chemicals, and he makes this, like, flying rubber energy source. Well, he has, like, a, a, a brain blast, and he's like, hot and he he just loses all senses and is like i have to make oh, this yeah. creation and then and then what it's 6 a.m his alarm goes off he set off. his alarm for 6 30 a.m instead of p.m so and it goes like, off at the wrong time my wedding and he's missed the wedding and the robot's like i'm afraid there's not gonna be a wedding she's such a little sneaky bitch until all of a sudden she's like He's not happy, so I'm not happy. <laughs> and then she gets the wife back for him. Discovers this source of energy. It's like, it can't be tamed. It's wild. It bounces around everywhere. And then he uses it to pilot his car, make it a flying car. There's also a sneaky man who wants to marry the lady and two other sneaky men who want to... There's a lot of sneaky men. Yeah. There's a lot of different plot threads. There's like seven different antagonists. Weebo is one of them for a minute. Someone wants his wife. Someone wants his creation. But nobody wants the robot. Poor, poor Weebo. Nobody wants to date Weebo. Well, because Weebo's a bitch! There's this other robot, this unproblematic king. His oh, name is Weber. And he's I just a little Weber. stout boy who, like, cleans and vacuums and sleeps, and that's, guy. like, all he does. And he makes breakfast. He doesn't say a word. He's a gentleman. And at one point, like, Weebo's watching something on TV, and she's like, can you shut the fuck up? Like, he's just doing his job. So, for the fun facts about this flick, uh, this was filmed close to Robin's home in the San Fran Bay when the script was being passed around. He was still in his like Disney feud. I don't think they had come to a resolve yet. And John Hughes like knew he wanted Robin Williams to be the professor the whole time, but he was like, I gotta wait in case he's not reconciled with Disney. So they also had lined up Christopher Lloyd, Jeff Goldblum, Tim Allen, and Sir Patrick Stewart. Christopher McDonald, the guy who you know because he's the villain in every movie, like <laughs> Click <laughs> and Lemonade Mouth. <laughs> He was gonna turn this movie down because the part, he was like, this part is too close to every other part I've ever played. 
So he was going to turn it down, and then as soon as Robin Williams signed on, he was like, never mind, because he, oh, really, he wanted to work it. with yeah. Robin Williams really bad. The sound designer created the sound of Flover using a rubber balloon filled with water, air, and Metamucil. <laughs> So that's when they got the, the rubber gurgly sound. And I wonder then there's how many other sounds they had to go through before <laughs> they were like, this is the one. The metamucil. <laughs> what did they put in it first? But then they also did have to have a guy do the voice to do the like, <laughs> like that. Who, who did thing. the bird? Scott Martin Gershon was oh. the voice of Flubber. Like that's his credit, oh, is the voice oh. of Flubber. Another Martin, all right. Yeah, Robin, I guess, would do a lot of improvised takes after they would shoot the script as it was written, but they didn't like use any of it. I already improvised one. I probably anything like any of the five minute scenes where he's just like I bet the basketball boop, scene. Boop, 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 boop. What there's like a five minute scene where he's just holding flubber and using words. He's like, you're energetic, you're moldable, you're malleable, you're there's a lot of scenes that go on for like five minutes. Also, worth noting that the plot summary of this on Disney Plus is Philip hopes his super bouncy goo will save his college and his wedding. That is all that that's all they give us. That's all they give you. If I read that, I would say no. his goo. His super bouncy goo. Robin is delivering a performance of sorts in this. He's trying at one, you know, he's crying over a dead robot. He's acting for sure. Um, I just, I don't know. I have an issue with the character, like not being able to remember literally anything. He can't remember people's names. He can't remember dates. Third wedding? Do you know how costly that is? To leave someone at the altar three times? But then they have the wedding, so it's They have the times. wedding, but he's not even there. That's four times. But he's not even there. Oh, that too. Sarah is legally married to We Bet. He also <laughs> went all out for that suit just to blow it up. Just that. to not be there either. I think I remember like seeing this now, why I didn't like it as a kid is because it wasn't, it wasn't really what was advertised to me. We but... didn't even get the flubber in a hat. Rapping. If you know, okay. leave a comment. This may be another thing that you and I both think that we have seen that's oh, not like the, jazz the Christopher Walken jazz square. Okay, at one point in Hairspray, Christopher Walken did a jazz square like this, and everyone that I've talked to swears it's in there and it's not in there. So that is just something else. But this Flubber thing is If true, you remember a video of Flubber in a backwards hat, like doing this up at the camera, please let me know. It's driving me crazy. As far as the other actors, I guess they're all there. Like, I, I don't know that I would consider this a bad film. Like, it's, it's fun for what it is. I guess it's more of a family film that's like geared at adults than little kids, though, because mm -hmm. it's like that would not make. It didn't make any sense to me as a kid. But there were a lot of. There were a couple, like, gags here and there that I really enjoyed. But it's kind, yeah. of, a, it's kind of dumb. At the dance scene. So this there's this scene that they That's use in all the trailers of Flubbers, like little Flubbers doing a mambo, Flubber shaking ass. It goes on for like eight minutes in the middle of another plot point that is supposed to be like pretty imperative. They're like, are they gonna win this basketball game? Let's not find out for like ten minutes. It was the robot's initiative of this guy yeah, that she loves? Yeah, she's like this guy I love. I'm just gonna let loose his creation after he said and begged me. Not to. not to. And then she does. All that happens is that they all shake ass and then it cuts back to the basketball game and we never, there's no, there's no tie-in. There's, that's never brought back does up like, again. Doesn't it like fall back into the bucket and close itself? I don't know. No. I it, they finished the dancing. They were like, hey, and it just cuts right back to the basketball game. And we never, we don't hear anything else from them. Like if you're going to work in a dance scene, like you need to do it in a way that makes sense, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. The Weibo character just doesn't make sense. Like, her motives are all over the place. She wants him to love her, and then she wants him to be happy, but then she also wants to, like, disobey him. Right. She's a mess. I thought she got rebooted. She gets clubbed by these robbers that come so into the house. Makes, she, how did she know she was going to die if she looked back? She left know. a will, technically. That she did. Was a she will. did leave a will. That's really weird. She just wanted them to have a baby. Maybe she uploaded it while she was She like, uploads like a version of herself that's like, this. there's a new version of me on this computer that's me minus my flaws, and it's also a little bit of you. So they like, have a child. Oh, yeah. F Professor Philip Brainer does not have a child with his wife, but he does have a child with his robot. This is not a movie for children. I will say that. It is not a movie for children. Um, it wasn't a sense because I think it made no sense. Like, it I just, guess. Like, it, it's marketed for children. It's definitely but... a comedic relief. I, my favorite part was the bowling ball and the golf ball just always <laughs> coming back down. Yeah. It's still falling to this day. So these discount, like, Home Alone burglars 
keep trying to break into the house to see what he's doing and also like get him to unfail this rich guy's son in chemistry class. It's all over the place. But in true 90s comedy fashion, they're just like, gunk! Like the whole movie is just people falling sideways with Ooh. items like clunking them in the head and them going, go! <laughs> and then like a cat noise in the distance. You don't see a cat in the movie at all. But there's they're not even like, in like a back alley. They're in somebody's like, driveway. Yeah! The best physical comedy, honestly, was Robin putting Flubber in his back pocket and jumping out the window mm -hmm. and thinking he was going to make it. The car's pretty sick, I will say. Oh, the flying yeah. car's pretty dope. Flying cars in media, you have the grease car. Mm -hmm. And I think the Flubber car might... I would put the Flubber car above the grease car because at least the Flubber car is a plot point. Mm -hmm. And we know how it flies. I might actually put the DeLorean above, but the grease car only flies at the end, but I guess that's a yeah. whole other different, it's a different topic. Another thing about Robin's character is that he, th I guess he thinks that the only way he can get this woman back is to just go, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Like there's a scene where he's trying to talk to her about something like about Flubber and he just keeps going, Sarah. And she's like, Goodbye, no, I don't. Philip. Sarah. Goodbye, Philip. Sarah. <laughs> Goodbye, Philip. Ultimately. He gets her back because Weibo records a video of him being like, I'm just so, I forget everything because I love her so much. Because then at one point she kisses Our him on the cheek. Our neurotonics. She kisses him on the cheek and he remembers something. I guess altogether thoughts, it's not that bad. I remember like really not liking this as a kid and I, I had a decent enough time. I think if I paid money to see this in the theater, I would be a little upset. I would not <laughs> have this as my kid's first sitting out like movie i don't know i think it was this like your first at movie outing that you can remember yeah that's, that's, that's my thing out. i was just like chandler's like iconic though mm -hmm. it, no i know i'm just at, like mine was chicken just run. imagine if i became like a flubber guy like you're a chicken run like, are, are there flubber I... people <laughs> flubber is non-binary <laughs> yes there's a lady flubber yeah and yeah. it bra it's breaking up into multiple pieces so it's like a worm yeah Flubber is a gender fluid icon. It's very mediocre. It's not good, but it's not bad. Like, it's a good kind of, like, comedic relief. Yeah. It's something to watch. His performance was, like, really good throughout it. I mean, like, yeah. even when he was cry crying over the robot, like, that, the yeah. emotion. He has a good mix, I guess, between, like, genuine emotion and his, like, ho ho, hee hee! <laughs> There's yet another scene of him being in a car, like, hop up, beep up, whoop. Two Robin Williams car dance scenes in the year 1997. <laughs> this is not a quintessential Robin performance for mm -hmm. me, though. Like, some of the people in the comments on YouTube are like, when I think Robin Williams, I think Flubber. Right, yeah, like, see, that's, that was that's my thing. That's a little thing. insulting to me. <laughs> see, that was my thing. That's like, I wouldn't give this someone first. I would be like, oh, you know which one? You need to watch Flubber. No. Right. It's kind of like falls somewhere in the middle range. Like, hokey enough to be a good time, but it's not like anything of substance or like anything I guess really all that memorable except for the fact that it's just like different because the physical comedy and like all that is very like it's very, it's very formulaic yeah it's very physical comedy yeah. related for sure and there's like half of this movie is science jargon and the other half is boing <laughs> like, that's what science it is science joke science joke what is it it's Sir Isaac Newton and just like throws oh, the apple oh yeah or the first like the first like 15 minutes is just him being like subatomic Negative energy. Flubber was a box office smash. It grossed $178 million worldwide on an $80 million budget. See, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like, it yeah. made so much money. But that's probably because the marketing was just like, bing, boom, bing, boom, 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 Robin Williams. It <laughs> looked like a like, funny okay, movie, yeah. but yeah. The critics hated it. It has a 24% Rotten Tomatoes approval. The Rotten Tomatoes consensus is that its overactive focus on special effects and tiresome slapstick squanders the immense talent of the cast and crew. Another review said it was overproduced, mechanical, and resoundingly unfunny. I wouldn't say Which, unfunny. Right, that's like, this is things. a little bit harsh, but I mean, yeah. yes, there are a lot of talented actors in it that are just kind of being like, <laughs> but that's like, I don't but, know. Like, Sarah, we don't get like anything of Sarah. No, she's very just like, I don't love you anymore. Okay, now I do. Do you think we see more of Robin? Or we we Oh. Honestly, Weibo is like I think way Weebo more of the main. Guy. She probably does. Why did they just name the movie Weibo? That's what it's about. Ugh. 
Robin was nominated for a Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Movie Actor for this. He didn't win. He was also nominated for the, the new running gag on my channel, the Stinker's Bad Movie Awards, who I've never heard of before this, but they keep coming back up. Nominated Flubber for the award of Worst Screenplay for a Film Grossing More Than $100 Million Using Hollywood Math. Wow. Yeah, I don't know who these people are. I don't know what That's this horrible. is. If you are interested in, you know, reliving your childhood or just watching this for the first time, Flubber is streaming on Disney Plus. If you don't have Disney Plus, it is available to rent in all the usual places. Next week, I am talking about Robin's final film of 1997 and bringing on another special guest. It's a movie that is very near and dear to my heart and has been since, um, like, just before Robin died. It's Good Will Hunting. I'm so excited. What a shift. What a shift to go from Flubber into Good Will Hunting. Wow, that is... Also, I'm moving so the cats are making noises in all the boxes out here. <laughs> I wish I could exit this by doing his, like, boom, <laughs> like, you know? Like, his... Oh, just, like, bounce out? Just taken off, yeah, like, Jeez. shoot up through my ceiling. <laughs> On that note... This is not mine. <laughs> <laughs>